Hi there and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me and uh, if you've been watching the series or any of the Meadow of <sighs> Memory... <laughs> Oh dear, Memories of the Meadow um, videos, then thank you so much. And to everybody who's uh, been and bought the kit uh, from either myself or Nanine, uh, a massive uh, thank you. It's doing really well and um, I've seen pictures of other people's things and uh, people have left me some lovely uh, reviews. So yeah, thank you. It's I'm absolutely over the moon uh, how the kit turned out. <laughs> it's been really lovely to work with it. Obviously, all the pieces was there because they was the pieces that I wanted in. And uh, yeah, I just found it really, really nice to <clears throat> to work with. And from the feedback that, that I've gotten, you know, watching um, Denise and Terry, and Rita working uh, with it. Um, yeah, um, we're really pleased. So thank you so much um, for for supporting supporting us and um, yeah, supporting our our dreams. And you know, obviously now this is this is my full time um, occupation. So um, yeah, thank you so so much. So. What have we got here? Um, it's it's an altar file folder. Um, it's a journal. It's chunky. This is the biggest one that I've made uh, so far. I've made you know close to this, but this is definitely uh, the chunkiest so far. Really happy with it. I do think the back could have taken uh, a little bit more. Um, yeah, I love it. So all I've done is just put this uh, lovely green organza uh, on the front. I didn't really know closure wise what to do and I thought, you know, that's probably for the best. We've got this um, cluster uh, here. We've got this um, doily piece here and then um, a little button snippet with a flower charm and a ball pen. Uh, just got kit paper on the front and the back, which is beautiful. And um, it's got three elastics. We've got two journals and another flippy, flappy element. It was made with a craft um, file folder. It was actually um, an American, um, I think it's like business size, is it? Um, so the a little bit... Uh, bigger width ways which um yeah allowed me to have you know a one inch spine and still um have this space uh here so let's open it up and have a look inside so i shall so this is how it looks when when we first open it um we've got the the mini uh file pockets there and just got i'm not going to totally pull everything out because you know what happens <laughs> i have um got a little label there and a little uh tag um a lot of the things i've shrunk so we've got the shrunk down version and we've got the large size version so that's the shrunk down version they're the large size um <clears throat> So, but if you watched me making the ephemera and stuff, um, I did speak about that that more. So this one opens up. We've got a little uh, tuck here with just a little card there and just a little bit of a clustery uh, type thing there. Most of the things are from our kit. There's a few bits from the Sage and Willow kit in there. There's butterflies from Shabby Dabby Doo -da and Artie Mays. Um, some of the like paper ephemera was um, either from Creative Studio or one of the three shops that I've got an affiliate link with. And then um, the labels was mainly 
um, if they're not from the kit from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodle. And these sort are from Honey Puddle, who is on Etsy. And there were some other words, these ones that come from uh, Carolan at uh, Cadge Crafts on Etsy. So that opens up, we've got this double pocket here, a little bit of a clustery snippety type thing here, we've got a bit of tape measure, just a simple journal card and that beautiful one there and we've got this um, oval shape label there. Just a bit of lace trim here and a flower that opens up. Got some of the lovely book page from uh, it's Janet Marsh's book and it's called no, it's totally gone. Nature's it is on, on my Amazon um, under books I, I use. So that was a page from that, same as that, and I've just put um, a label. Got one of the double pockets. Again, this was the pockets, what are this size, um, shrunk down. Just a little bit of a label there. Um, this is, I did some decoupaging in the series. So just a tiny little envelope with a couple of tickets and a little journal card. So that pops there. And then we've got some fairy uh, cards. I didn't make these in the series, but I do have a playlist called uh, Flower Fairies and it will be in there. Again, it's decoupaged. And then we've got that beautiful image at the back. So that goes like that. And then can we still see? Let me check us. Yeah, that's fine. We've got the CD envelope here. Uh, this is one of the decoupage ones. Uh, that I did. Got a couple of words, another one of the decoupage uh, flower fairy tags and we've got this journal card with the lovely um, Tim Holtz. I don't know if they're just called wild flowers. And the lovely Deb sent me those. So here's the uh, normal size files that flips down. Got some writing space there if you wanted to write on it. Just put another die and notes, and then there's just a journal card, and I think that's a double a double tag which has been stamped inside, and I think that's just a double journal card. And we've got some of the fussy cut, well, <laughs> they're supposed to be fussy rip um, sheets, which I shrunk down. Butterfly, a little bit of a um, collage thing there. Then on this side, we've got a slim envelope with this uh, lovely piece that Denise sent me from Junk Journals UK and one of the book page journal cards in there. Okay. Yeah. Another book page here, just put a label on, um, put these fussy cuts, they was from Rita and I did this in the fairy um, series as well. I think that was like a, a Trash Tuesday uh, type thing, I'm, I'm not too, too sure. So that's that page. And at the back we've got this glassine envelope with decoupage on, just popped a label and a little bow. Oh, might have stuck it down. <laughs> oh, careful. Yeah, that's it. And inside I've got a matching um, Rolodex card, what I've decoupaged on. And another fairy journal card. And it's just layered on some tissue and we've got a label and a bit of lace at the top and there's the book page. Then over here we've got this flip up, this is a journal card and it flips up. And then we've got a pocket at the front and another flip up journal card there. And I've just popped a button and a label and a butterfly. And we've got some... Uh, Zigzag trim there, rick rack, and a label. And this pulls out, and we've got one of the large uh, fairy journal cards. Uh, another one of those book pages with a label, 
and then the beautiful kit paper with a couple of butterflies and the circle pocket and tag what we made and then a word from the kit and another butterfly these ones are artemis butterflies so we open up this is the middle uh, section so i've just stuck this lace down as a pocket i've not made um a journal card because it was a last minute uh, thing i've put a nice big fussy cut there and a label then we've got the first journal which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven pages so that's 44 uh sides in there so we've got my thoughts and we've got the lovely William Morris from the kit and the front and the back is lined with kit paper. There's just a, a pocket there, there's nothing inside it and obviously there's a pocket that side been sewn around and we've got a couple of book pages and the rest is tea stained um, papers. I've got that book page in the middle okay so that's the the first one obviously you can take these out and write in them and you can replace them so this is the middle section and this is the lovely paper that um, my birthday present from Rita Jensen came in got another butterfly and got one of the tall library style pockets from the kit and a little I just popped a label on the front of yeah, that one and then this one we've got part of the book page double tag from the kit and another double tag which I've put um, some of the splashed uh, wild flowers on and we've got a little pocket there with a little journal card in there so I've got the William Morris paper behind that opens up again and this is backed with the paper that's on the front and I've made some pockets out of the same paper this is another uh, book which again forgot what it's called um, which I've just backed and a piece from the kit got a label on and a little uh, wooden embellishment there of a little snail and on this side I've got the same kind of journal card there one from the kit label and a little frog then these are the envelopes that are made in uh, the six by six uh, mini series that I did which I have put in the same playlist as um, the meadow there is a long ticket in there and then we've got a scrappy um, pad here, which you could obviously rip up for uh, collage or use it as a, as a notepad. And over here, I've got this lovely uh, vintage card, uh, what Barbie sent me, and I've tea stained it, so you've got plenty of journal space there. And that just pops in there. And this is the die from Violet and this opens like so. Yep. Done a decoupage tag um, journal card in it and then the back's decoupaged uh, in the same paper. So quite like that. So tie that back up and then obviously the ribbon uh, goes, goes around the back. Yeah, so that is that. And we've got, stick that down. I did say as I made it, I didn't think that was going to stick down. Um, the other journal, which is, you know, the same, just different uh, book pages. yep and another big fussy uh, cut and a label and the lace pocket 
and the back we've got this um, lunch bag type thing there's um, a journal card that I made from the collage papers in the kit and there's a guest check which I've tuck parched on and put a little label and a back backed it so it's uh, not you know just a thin piece of paper and then we've got the long coin envelope which is out of the kit and I've just put some velcro on there and that's another one of the collage uh, sheets that just put a little bow on word and uh, one of the dies and a little label there turn it over we've got the book page again uh, with a label and a couple of butterflies got another one of those library type pockets got some dies a label and a couple of butterflies and a button and then this is a try um, tag and I've put a pocket in and we've got a bit of a, a bit of a thing going off there and obviously on the <coughs> little um, fabric tab stamping a button another label and then the back we've got this band and that's a piece from the kit So pop that back in, in there. So I think that's and this flips like so. And we've got a little CD here, which is again the decoupage with the wild flower. Yeah. <coughs> and then I've got Tim Holtz butterfly, um, a nice ivy. Um, die and a label there with another Tim Holtz butterfly over here this is another one of the envelopes that we made in the 6x6 six six series that I did and we've got a little tag that says clover and a butterfly got another one of those wooden pieces on a material ruffle and uh, some vellum and decorator's paper some more ivy and then these are Couple, couple of fussy cuts from the kit and we've got that um, little wand <laughs> flower uh, that, that we made um, and then we've got some words and a label then over here we've got uh, this bit this is a little side tuck we've got three little uh, cards in here and just put a label on that then flip that open, got one of the pieces from the kit, just put a word there, got another one of the circle tags and pockets, I got the Tim Holtz pieces on and put a couple of butterflies on and open this up, just check where we are in frame, yep. I've um, got a double pocket, little dragonfly, uh, a journal card and another guest check. And this is one of the CD covers from the kit, which I think you get out this way. Yeah, a little bit awkward. So that's that, and then we've got the dies uh, on the pocket as well. And that's a lovely die that Rita sent me. That's a piece from the kit. And we've got our final fairy uh, journal card. So that is, is it. <laughs> um, I told you I won't be able to get them all in. I did well though, didn't I? I was quite quite impressed. Um, <clears throat> oh, why? Right. 
I shall do that after. Um, so yeah, that that is the the file folder. Um, I'm going to be making another one very very similar um, next in Edith Holden, but I've got no pieces made, so we're going to uh, make the pieces as we go. So thank you so much for watching, and like I say, thank you to those of you who have bought the kit and those of you who have watched uh, the series and give me thumbs up and comments and all the rest of it and for those of you who have shared uh, pictures uh, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and um, yeah and pop along to the group and uh, put your photos in there so that's it from me for today and I shall see you tomorrow I'm going to probably have a couple of days of just some um you know one off uh makes um and then we'll we'll get on with with some Edith Holden. So I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now.